That's Psycho Mantis, former KGB psychic. He has powerful psychokinetic and telepathic abilities. After the collapse of the Soviet Union, he came to America looking for a job. He worked with the FBI on several cases as a psychic profiler. But five years ago, he was working on the case of a multiple serial murderer, and he got too far into the killer's mind. As a result, he became just like the killer. So he was sort of infected by this serial murderer's thoughts? In any case, after that he became sort of a psychic spy working for the highest bidder. He traveled all around the world. That's when he was recruited by Foxhound. He can read people's minds. He knows every move that you're going to make. What should I do? I got no chance of beating him. There must be some way. He's a master at controlling people, Snake. Don't let him manipulate you. Colonel, your niece is going to be okay. Thanks, Snake. I owe you one. Now that Mantis is beaten, Meryl's brainwashing should wear off. Right, Naomi? Yes. But why did you go so far out of your way to save her? For Campbell's sake? Or maybe it's because you like her? I don't want to see any woman die right in front of me. Oh, really? Since when did anybody's death bother you so much? Naomi. It's true that Snake has killed a lot of people, but that does not mean he doesn't have a heart. It's okay, Colonel. She's right. He makes his own. <laughs> Perhaps so, but I will read your future. To get to Metal Gear's underground maintenance base, you have to go through the hidden door. There's a hidden door behind the bookcase. <sighs> the Overland Route. It's blocked by frozen glaciers. Go past the communication towers, then use the tower's walkway. Why are you telling me this? I can read people's minds. In my lifetime, I have read the pasts, presents, and futures of thousands upon thousands of men and women. Oh, gross. And each mind that I peered into was stuffed with the same single object of obsession. That selfish and atavistic desire to pass on one seed. It was enough to make me sick. Every living thing on this planet exists to mindlessly pass on their DNA. We're designed that way, and that is why there is war. But you are different. You're the same as us. We have no past, no future. We live in the moment. That's our only purpose. Humans weren't designed to bring each other happiness. From the moment we're thrown into this world, we're fated to bring each other nothing but pain and misery. The first person whose mind I dove into was my father's. I saw nothing but disgust and hatred for me in his heart. My mother died in childbirth, and he despised me for it. 
I thought my father was going to kill me. That's when my future disappeared. I lost my past as well. When I came to, the village was engulfed in flames. Are you saying that you burned your village down to bury your past? I see that you have suffered the same trauma. <laughs> we are truly the same, you and I. The world is a more interesting place with people like you in it. I never agreed with the boss's revolution. His dreams of world conquest do not interest me. I just want an excuse to kill as many people as I could. You monster. Let him talk. He doesn't have much time left. I've seen true evil, Snake. Seeing you calms my soul. You're like the boss. No, worse. Compared to you, I'm like a saint. I read her mind as well. Merrill's. I saw you there. You have a large place in her heart. A large place. And getting bigger. But I do not know if your futures lie together. I have... A last request. What is it? My mask. Put it back on. Okay. Like this. Other people's thoughts force their way into my mind. Before I die, I want to be by myself. I want to be left alone in my own world. Let's go, Meryl. I'm sorry. Meryl. How could I let Mantis control my mind like that? If you're going to doubt yourself, I'll leave you here. You're right. Don't regret your past. Learn from it. Regrets just make a person weaker. You're right. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Snake, can I ask you something? More complaints? About what Mantis said. I was just wondering... What? What's the problem now? Oh, no. Nothing. So tell me, Snake. What's your name? Your real name? A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. How old are you? Old enough to know what death looks like. Any family? No, but I was raised by many people. Is there anyone you like? 
I've never been interested in anyone else's life. So you are all alone. Just like Mantis said. Other people just complicate my life. I don't like to get involved. You're a sad, lonely man. Come on, let's go.